Okay, so here I just put on my wig cap and I'm spraying my Gots To Be Glue Free Spray on here. I'm going to do about two or three layers of this. So this is just the first layer right here. So I'll be back. And here I am going over with my second layer. So just spraying the second layer that got to be glue spray. And just making sure that it's clear. Once it's clear, that means it's dry. So that's when you put another layer on top. And I'm using my comb to make sure everything is flat and sticking down. And here I'm just cutting off any excess cap, even pieces of the cap that I have like glued down. If it's too far up, if I don't need it, I'm just simply cutting it off. And please, 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 ladies, be careful right here. Um, be careful not to cut yourself. Don't be afraid to pull the cap up a little bit. See how right here I'm moving the cap up with the scissors? Don't be afraid to move up the cap up a little bit. If it messes up, you can always glue it back down. But you'd rather be safe than sorry than cutting your skin. So. And here I'm just putting my foundation all on the wig cap so it can just blend into my skin. Pretty much making a bald cap. I am the color coconut or latte. So yeah, if you feel like you're my same skin tone, this is probably the color that you need. But yes, this just helps the lace be able to blend better once I put it on. And here I am just spraying down like all the white edges so it won't look weird once I put the lace on. So yeah, as you can see, once I spray it, it blends in so well and it just basically melts into my skin.
So I, before I put this bad boy on, I want y'all to be able to see it. I know I look crazy, but whatever. So this is from Brazilian Secret. Let me show you this for y'all. Can y'all see that? Brazilian Secret. It is the wig. HBW Tiffany Girl in the color red wine. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I kind of touched the wig a little bit, but I really basically this is just how it came. Like I didn't take it out or anything like this. So this is how it comes. This is the wig. Oh my god. <laughs> so beautiful. And let me say, before I even put this wig on, I love this company. Um I love this wig. This wig is very affordable. It is only $29.99 on hairbird.com. Um, hairbird shipping is amazing. Um, takes like, I want to say like three to five business days or less. I got this wig in no time. Um, this is the color, if y'all can see all the highlights and lowlights. And this is a um, human and synthetic hair blend. So I hope the camera is picking up. This is like really red but like yeah it's really red so yes brazilian secret and this is red wine again and i'm gonna come back and tell y'all the specs on like straightening it out and all that stuff like that once i put it on so i'm <laughs> And right here, I'm just showing how the wig, like the hooks in the back, are actually hooks. A lot of wigs don't have that, like an extra little hook to where the wig is super sturdy and just ain't going nowhere. So that's another reason why I just love, love, love this wig. And here is my one of many times putting this wig on. I put on and take off my wigs a million times just to make sure everything is right. But right here, I'm just making sure that I have all the hair from up underneath the wig because that can be a major cause of knotting and shedding and tangling. So just make sure you have all the hair from behind the wig. And right here, I'm just putting it on, seeing how it's fitting, seeing how much lace I need to cut off, and how much more cap I need to cut off. As y'all can see on the side, you can kind of see the cap. So I'm going to go back and just keep cutting that and keep cutting it back until it's just perfect. And here, I'm just cutting off any extra cap that I've seen through the lace. So, yeah, I'm just pulling it back. Don't be afraid to pull it back and just cutting it right on off. I'm honestly going to do this a good mm, three, four times, honestly, until I get it right. So, yeah, just have patience. It just takes time, y'all. Now I'm just pinning my hair back, getting ready to cut the lace. I find it easier to cut the lace when it's on my head than cutting it when it's off because I can see exactly how much lace I need to cut off because I always like to keep a tad bit extra lace, especially on synthetic units. So I have like something to actually tack down and I've come to notice the closer you cut your lace to the hairline, it shortens the longevity of your wig. It starts to shed more around the hairline. So just leave a little bit of lace. But yeah, I found it more easy just to cut it while it's on my head. So that's what I'm doing. And also make sure that you are cutting in a like a zigzag motion. Do not cut straight across. So you can rewind and look. Just see I'm cutting a little zigzag.
And now I'm just spraying my Got To Be Glue Free Spray. Again, I will do a couple layers of this. And you can notice that I don't like to use the actual gel in the front. Like in the middle, I start to use it on the sides. I find it to be white. Every time I put it in the middle, it's always, it turns out white. When I put it on the sides, not so much. So yeah, just spray in the middle and then the gel on the actual sides. And now I am starting to put the um, Got To Be Glue actual gel on the sides. But I do a really thin layer. Y'all see how thin that layer, layer is? It's almost clear pretty much. So yeah, just let that dry. And then I'm going to put my spray on top of it. Now that my wig is glued down, I'm just going in and plucking. Um, right now, I'm just plucking in the front, and then later you will see me part and start plucking. So, yeah. Just make sure you're brushing as you plug to avoid tangling and matting up.
And here I'm just adding more foundation and now I'm about to um, finesse this part. I know it was only two inches apart in space, but now I'm about to finesse it and make it like it's more because no, if I'm doing the middle part, I got to go all the way out. And as y'all can see, now I'm doing my baby hairs, just trying to get it as thin as possible. And I like long baby hairs. So yeah, just cut them a little longer and just swoop them on back. And I personally like to blow dry my baby hairs because it's nothing worse than trying to move on to the next section and then looking back and the baby hairs right there, I missed it. So I tried to um, blow dry them and kind of mold them down. And here I'm just showing y'all how much shedding I had. It's not much shedding at all, cause like considering that I just plucked this wig and this wig is synthetic and it's fresh out the box. So yeah.
And here I'm just taking my little tiny curling irons and just flattening out the middle part just a little bit more. I also take some hair from the front, as you can see right here, and flatten it out. It just makes it look more natural, and you can see the baby hair is more. So yeah, the, the flatter, the more natural. Instagram, sir.